Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are somewhere around in Logan Dealers for our new trailers and then we take a large variety of trailers in on trade, such as this little two-horse bumper pull behind me, as well as up to big LQs. So if you're looking for a large variety of trailers and inventory that's here on the lot, we've got a lot of options. We've also got a huge list of things that are on order. So if you're looking to, to custom build something, we've got lots of slots available. And we also have a lot of cool units coming in that are for inventory. So let's go ahead and check out this two horse bumper pull that I've got behind me. This is a 2016 used Homesteader Stallion. We don't see a lot of these in Colorado, but they are a steel frame trailer with aluminum skins. So kind of a similar composition to our Logan trailers. And this one is built for some big horses. So it's a straight load, 7'6 tall, standard 6'10 wide. Uh, if you've got some, some big horses you're looking to move from point A to point B, this is a really great option. Let's start over at the front here because they've actually got a cool little feature added to this one. So this one has a little electric jack and it does have a little crank for a manual override in case you ever um, have a dead battery or something, you can still get it on and off your truck. But the little electric jacks work great on this size trailer. If you're going anything much bigger than this, it's really advisable to put an electric rubber hydraulic, just can handle the weight a little bit better. But something in this size range, these electric jacks are absolutely perfect. We do quite a few of these here at TransWest. So if there's another bumper pull you're interested in, you can always check out our inventory and we can swap this out or swap our regular crank jack for one of these electric jacks. So really great, a little option there. You've got your onboard battery, um, your safety chains, pretty standard up here. Got some tread bright, bright down low the aluminum skin above. And like I said, this is a steel framed trailer. So one of the things I like about this little used trailer is the amount of storage you get in the actual nose of this trailer. This is a good sized little tack room for a straight load. It seems like they tend to be a little bit smaller sometimes. And this one, this one has plenty of space for everything you would need to haul. You've got some blanket bars here, um, some bridle hooks on this wall here. Lots of ventilation, uh, really bright in here. It's all aluminum lined, so that aluminum skin is gonna get it really nice and bright in here. Um, you've got your your saddle, saddle tiers over on this wall as well as your spare. And then this trailer's equipped with a high tie, so you've got the, the gear for the high tie right here. They were using this trailer, they had sway bars on it. So if you did wanna go up and set that situation up again, we've, the old owner left some of that equipment here. On this wall here, you actually have a little pass-through window. So if you need to just jump in the tack room really quick, you've got horses loaded on, you can peek in there and see if they're up to any, any, anything bad in there, check in on them. So since you are 610 wide, you do have some running board here, which is really nice. Just makes it easier to get in and out. You've got escape doors on either side of this trailer. So if you needed to walk these horses in, duck under there, or open this up, check on them, throw some feed. It's just a really nice option. It is equipped with windows at the head side and over their hips. So you can get some nice, good airflow moving through here. And then down low on this, You've got it uh, diamond plated, so it's gonna. if you've got horses tied up here, they're gonna have a lot harder time doing damage to this diamond plate than they will these, these uh, aluminum skins here. This trailer does have some nice good tires on it, so these tires were replaced um, in the 40th week of 2021, so they're all matching. We threw this trailer on the alignment machine when it got here, as well as it's been inspected through our shop. Um, they, have, they write up a list of everything that needs addressed and they go in, they repack bearings, they'll do the alignment and make sure that all of the safety concerns are addressed before it goes to its new owner. We've got some curtain windows here that wrap around and that allows you to have this nice rear ramp with Dutch doors over. 
as I mentioned earlier, this is a straight load. So these horses, you just load them right in here. They're not riding on a slant. If you ever needed to, you do have the ability to take all this hardware out of here and run this as a box stall. And then they've got the poly last floor on here. So it's gonna be a little easier to clean out than, than rubber mats are. You can just take a power washer coming through these front doors, nose this trailer up and spray all of it out, uh, which is really, really nice and handy. We do this on a lot of our Logans. And then in the actual stall area here, you've got padded partial divider, padding on the walls, and your butt and chest bars are also padded. This is once again, aluminum lined. So it's nice and bright in here. It's gonna make it a little more inviting for those horses to step in and out of this trailer. And then the other owner actually threw those feed bags in here. So you've got your triangle feed bags and throw feed have horses um, on their hay as you're driving down the road so that they're able to snack and, and keep busy. We've got two roof vents, one over each stall up at the head there. It's gonna suck some nice air through this trailer, keep those horses nice and cool. And as we work our way around here, you'll see that other, that other uh, Dutch door is clipped back there. This is that high tie I was talking about. So if you did want to keep your horses away from your trailer, um, that strap on the inside in the tack room, this swivels out and you lock it into position and it just keeps those horses off that trailer. This trailer's running on two 3,500 pound rubber torsion axles for GBWR of 7,000 pounds. So plenty of axle underneath this trailer for two horses. Once again, this running board is carried all the way over to those, to those fenders there. So it just makes it really easy to get up and down into this trailer if you're needing to um, check on horses or clip on leads, throw feed. Really, really simple. Second escape door over here. And then as we work our way around to the front here, um, you will see the stock number here. If you go to our website at transwest.com, I know a lot of people are really looking for those warm blood two horse bumper poles. This is a really great option if you're looking for one that may be a new, a very clean used trailer at a discounted price. It's a 2016 Homesteader Stallion. The stock number is 5U230845. We've got it pictured there. The video will be there. Um, you are more than welcome to call in. I would be happy to answer any questions you have on this trailer or any of the other trailers we have on the lot. My name is Callie Say. The best way to reach me is my phone number. That's 970-309-6368. I'd love to answer any questions you have and see if we can't find you a trailer. Thanks so much for tuning in. Everybody have a great day.